Hi guys, it's Kendra. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be basically we get crazy winter storms wherever I live, so I can't always come home after work because like I get off work at 10 o'clock at night. So I have a overnight bag which weighs a million pounds and I'm basically going to be showing you what's all inside of it. So if you guys like the video, give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe and press that bell to get notified every single time that I post a new video. My savage cats are currently running around outside. One of them hates the snow, one could care less. But yes, let's get on with the video. multiple different zippers. I'm going to be starting with this first one. I opened a little bit, obviously. This is basically just my supplies and stuff. So, this, um, I did get green paint on this. This was my old school backpack. There's like a little bit of green paint on it. My younger brother actually has the same one as me. I just have little bracelets on mine because... I like making a whole bunch of bracelets. So those ones are old ones or ones that just didn't fit on my ankles. So yes, I have four on my ankle currently. I've had them on for like over a year already. That is not a good... Is that better? Kind of. So going into this next pouch, I basically just have a 10 foot charger as well as an Apple block. No, I do not have an Apple phone. So yes, a lot of my friends do have Apple phones, so the chargers would not work for my phone. And I don't often have chargers with me, so I don't even have one in my car right now. This backpack comes inside of me every night just because I have vitamins and everything in it and stuff I just don't want to freeze. And yes, if I do sound a little bit stuffed up, I am having major allergies. Um, mainly to the weather lately, because, like, it can't make us mind up whether it is summer or winter. But also, if you guys didn't know, I'm super, super allergic to cats, and basically, my cats are psycho and like to lay on people's faces. So, yes, that's another reason I am super stuffed up or whatever. It is, like, super hot in here. Okay, so I just started my car whatever to roll down some of my windows. And it is crazy to think that it's already April 1st. Um, yes, my car just shows all that and it's like insane. It looks so weird. So, yes, continuing into the third pocket or whatever. I have my YouTube notebook. It just says that beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. Basically, I used to have a different one. And I think juice got spilt over it or whatever. So I started a new one at the beginning of 2020. It's April 1st. Um, and yes, I've already destroyed one. I believe my cats attacked this one. You can just see there's a whole bunch of little claw prints on it, I guess. But it's like super cute. I have a decent amount filled up for being April. So I might have to get another one. Or I'll just turn it around and just use the up opposite sides. So... I'm not quite sure yet. And then I just have my agenda. Mainly, I only really use it for YouTube and stuff. I write my work schedule all on an app on my phone. So basically, yes. And this one, it can always change. So I don't write in this one with anything other than an erasable marker. So I also have that with me. I have multiple erasable ones. And then I have to have a couple normal ones to write in my other one. Because these ones are more expensive. These are cheaper, obviously, because they're just normal. So I don't want to waste them on normal paper or whatever. And then going into the largest pocket, if I can open it. Also, for my keys, I want to get another one of these, like purple or gray or whatever. But I just, every time I go to the dollar store, I forget to look for them. Also, I might, I kind of want another lanyard. 
I don't know, maybe a different color, but it has to have this clip. I have a whole bunch. I'm just not enjoying them because they don't have the clip on them. But yes, I want to get more just little keychain pieces that are super cute. Okay, so the first thing is my wallet. And going along with my whole wallet, it's cold now. Going along with the whole wallet thing, as of March, March 28th, wow, the sun, it just got bright. March 28th, I actually got my novice, I think two it is. I think this was the one. Yes, I got my novice two driver's license. I've had my license for six months already. And with this one, my restrictions were I can't drive after 11. And I can only drive one other person who isn't family. Um, I don't really know my restrictions right now. I only know one of them. And it is I can only carry in this vehicle. I can only have four other passengers because I can only take how many people. As long as everyone has a seatbelt, I can drive them, I guess. Um, I know that you can carry more people, not me. If you have a full driver's license, you could take... 100 people in the backseat if you wanted, as long as they're alive, and as long as all of the seatbelts are being used in the car. And I can only fit two in the front seat, but I can fit 100 in the back if I wanted to. Or graduated license, I guess. But, yes, that is fun. I don't plan on fitting 100 people in my backseat, but, I mean, there's that option, I guess. And then, the next thing is, I just have these multi gummies. Multi gummies for hair, skin, and nails. My favorite is the orange flavored one. I need to get a new one pretty soon. It's about half full. It expires on the November 2022. I did not notice that before. This one is just my vitamin C. Next time I'm going to... These are very, very, very sour. But they're kind of the ones I grew up with, except I grew up with the blueberry. These are... I think just multi flavored. Or these are fruit tropical or whatever. Oh no, exotic tropical fruit. And I'm gonna go with the blueberry ones next time. Next time I just have my makeup bag. This isn't my everyday makeup. This is just spare dollar store stuff. I have a cheap dollar store cheap, cute dollar store scrunchie. Cause like if you stay over at someone's house, you can't shower, it's just... But you still want to feel good at the next day. This one was my hairbrush from when I was 13, I think. So it's pretty gross at this point. But I had to go back, I got this from the dollar store, I went back and got three of them at the same time because they were just a really, really good hairbrush. I now use this bamboo one, I think. It was also for the dollar store. I have this deodorant. I'm not quite a fan of the clear gel, but yes, this is a lavender scented secret. I've had it for like ages. I have just a lip chap. Not my favorite, but like I always need lip chap. This is just a cheap mascara. I also have one right here. This one has been frozen and thawed about a million times. And it's sticky, that's gross. Um, yes, this was the first one I ever got, but it's clumps sometimes, I guess. It's the ultimate all-in-one. And then next I have, this is from the dollar store, it's LA Colors. I have three shades of eyeshadow. And that brush did not come with it. It is starting to snow, and I also have this... Hawaii Passion Fruit Kiss, whatever it's called, uh, body spray from Bath and Body Works, I forget what it smells like, I can't smell anything so I don't know why I did that, but, oh it actually does smell good, okay guys, and then next in the bag, I just have normal fuzzy socks, also from the dollar store, I go there a lot obviously, a lot of this stuff, just looking around my car, is from the dollar store. So I got fuzzy socks because when you're sleeping over at someone's house, these are just better, I guess. Because, like, sometimes you don't get the best blanket and your feet just kind of stick out and we can't have that. 
But then also I'm not about to sleep in my disgusting socks that I've worn all day and walked around just disgusting. I'm not dealing with that and they're just not quite as comfortable. So yes, these ones, if I'm not mistaken, I got from one of my friends for Christmas. It was like a secret Santa thing or whatever. And then next I have these super, super comfortable leggings. They are leopard print, and I'm not the biggest fan of them, so I don't really wear them out in public much. They are Under Armour, I believe. Yes, they have a little Under Armour logo. But they are super, super comfortable, look super cute on me, minus the fact that they're leopard print. So, yes. The next thing, I got this from my grandma, it was like second hand or whatever, and it is just a little bench t-shirt um is a little bit stressed stretched out and just worn well it's an extra large i think it's a child's extra large because it yeah it fits me pretty well and i'm not an extra large so i believe it's a child's extra large the bench lettering is kind of worn out as you can tell also this sweater is bench i don't know where the logo is but it's somewhere back maybe I don't know, I promise it's bench. Oh, right there. So, yes. Um, that is super comfortable. I don't tend to wear it often. And then this sweater, I do kind of have a story about it. So I did this, did get this for Christmas from my ex-boyfriend. It is basically Under Armour. And if you guys didn't know, I do have a matching one. It is in this color, actually. Like, that purple color. It's, like, solid. It's one of my favorite sweaters. And then I got this. I was super excited. Um, and, like, obviously I'm not going to throw it out. It's expensive. And, like, I mean, it's a sweater. And it's a matching to one of my favorites. So, like, yes, but I'm not about to wear it to school. So, Yeah. That's a fun. It is another Under Armour thing. And yeah. And they're like $80. So. And then next, I just have this was one of my favorite sweater outfit thingies. I don't even know if I have the pants in it. No, these are the wrong pants. Um, but I'll probably change it that. But this is one of my favorite sweaters. Um, I did it in an outfits idea for winter, last winter actually. It's just super cute, not the most comfortable, not my favorite anymore, not even close. And then I have my least favorite jeans in the entire world. They make me look young, I guess, and they have a little stain right there. So, yes, they just don't fit me very well. They're from Warehouse One. And they are high-rise straight jeans. I'm not the biggest fan of full-length straight jeans. I either like them longer or shorter. Or skinny jeans or boot cut or just not straight jeans. And these, I don't, wouldn't consider these high-rise. They aren't very high-rise, I guess. So, yes. And then next, I just have... An unmatching pair of socks. These are some of my favorite socks. There's orange and there's pink. And people make fun of me every single time I wear which ma mitch mismatched socks. So yes. <sighs> my nose is so stuffed up right now. And my savage cats are wanting my attention. I think that is all. So if you guys like the video. Wait a second. If you guys like the video, give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe and press that bell to get notified every single time that I post a new video. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Wow, that was rough. Anyways, that is all for today's video. If you guys like the video, give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe and press that bell to get notified every single time that I post a new video. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Ken underscore swing. Bye guys. Love you.